Hi, this is Imtiaz Ali and you're watching me on MissMalini.com. Because I did not find producers to make it, um, I have uh, actually thought of the story of Highway some 16 years back, I think, and <clears throat> I was pitching for it to be the first film that I ever made. But didn't find producers, didn't happen, and uh, I made Socha Natha, then I made Chappi Mate, then I made two more films, and then finally it's time to, it, it somehow came back. So it's about uh, a, a story that doesn't leave you and it's finally made and I'm glad that I'm making it now because I think it has in my mind remaining there for such a long time it has automatically simplified itself. I don't think I was ready as a director to make Highway before this. I've tried to make Highway and construct it in different ways, uh, in more dramatic ways. Uh, less dramatic ways, more romantic ways, more obviously glamorous ways, etc, etc. And finally, I think it just stayed in its pure, unadulterated form. And it's neat now. It's not adulterated. There is something very distinct being said in the film. The soul of the film cannot be expressed in words, which is why the movie has been made. But there, but there was something that this girl in this journey was experiencing and trying to say. And I just couldn't get that out. Um, sometimes it's so fascinating that you have to be away from society to see it properly. I did not pull out any script. Although I have written different scripts at different times for Highway, I didn't pull anything out. I just wrote afresh. So it and you don't you don't go back to it. I feel I never do that. I just say what is it for me now? The story would change when you whenever you make it is when you have to decide. And uh, I think a film has there. There's something subconscious which tells you that you can't make this film, and that's why a film doesn't get made. This was the time for Highway to. I'd like to show you a, a small sketch that my friend has uh, made for me. It has nothing to do with Highway, but uh, it is very fascinating that he should have made that sketch and sent it to me without knowing the story of Highway. This whole time. So this my friend, who we call Sadda, whose actual name is Rajesh Sarkar in Jamshedpur, he's made this. And this is, uh, I think, civilization. And this is a bird that is flying in an unmarked kind of territory and this bird coming from this city will have an opinion, a different opinion about this city when it is here. So I think highway is like that. Hmm. What is constant in the journeys I feel is uh, the fact that you discover yourself very simply because oftentimes when I am in a zone that I know or that I live then I feel like I have a role. You know, I already have an expectation. I've been programmed in a certain way. So I behave in that certain way. Because people know, you know, you, you don't realize it. You also become, you start playing the role of what you're expected to be in a certain situation. When you are in a new situation where people don't know you, where you don't know the terrain, you are free of that. You don't, there is no imposition of any training um, or of any role playing like that. So you can be any, anything, anybody. And that is very relieving. I think, you know, when I used to travel earlier, they used to ask me, so what do you do? And I used to say, I'm a spy. Or that uh, I'm actually, I can't tell you what I, who I am. You know, things like that, just for the heck of it. And then the whole day I used to think that actually I am a spy. I'm a secret service agent. <laughs> and everyone used to think that, oh fuck, he's a secret service agent. Or, or whatever, you know, I would say I'm a writer, or when I was a student, I would say that, or I would say that um, anything. And you would play that character, you would be somebody else. I feel that I can, I get very, I, I you know, it's boring to be the same person through your life. I can't stand it. See, I'm used to shooting films where the script is fully done. 
and then I do changes and improvisations, etc. But the script is fully done. I know what I'm going to do. There, the location becomes a mere backdrop. I'm not taking much more than that from it. But in the scope of this film, I felt that I had to be much more flexible. I could afford to be flexible in highway because I knew the script very well. I knew the story very well. I knew what this particular scene is trying to say. So then, if I know nothing else, I'm still fine. So then if I go to a particular location and see what the conditions are and see what I'm feeling at that point of time and I use all those elements and right then and there freshly made omelette and serve it hot to the actors, then it becomes more organic. Then, then there's a reason why I've gone to Himachal. Then there's a reason why I've done this whole journey and why I didn't sit in this office and have the same scenes played out to the same effect. So, uh, yeah, so I've tried to be open like that. So my script was not ready. I used to write the dialogue on the set or just before reaching. Just like I used to, we were on this journey and I was trying to, for the script to be just slightly ahead of the journey so that we have and oftentimes while climbing a hill I have I'm, I'm holding Alia and walking and we are going up and I'm discussing the dialogue with her and telling her that this is what you should say is this good or not and that's how the script has been written here more or less the script has been finalized after the shooting because often I've just discussed with my actors over there and said okay you say this no, okay say this and say that <laughs> That's how we're doing this. I think that I should be, as a director, flexible to make any movie the way that it should be made. And uh, I'm looking at you and talking to you and I'm constantly thinking of Jab We Met. But, but for instance, Jab We Met could not have been made like this. You needed more structure there. But Jab We Met today perhaps could be made like this. You know, cinema has also changed. It, it allows me more flexibility. Jab We Met for its time was a very unique and a slightly experimental film which was granted a mainstream st stature much after its release. Today if you make a film like Jab We Met, it's mainline, hardcore, mainstream, you know. Um, but, uh, so, um, so, yeah, so you should have the flexibility, you should have the capability as the director to make the movie in a way that it demands to be made. And this movie demanded to be made like this. The next movie perhaps will not be. Everything goes wrong in every movie for every, for I think me and maybe many other directors after its release. There is no movie of mine that I see and I like. There is no scene of mine that I see and I feel there is nothing wrong in it. And uh, so therefore job we met as well. There are lots of locations which could have been better. There are lots of uh, detail of aesthetics that could have been better. There are lots of, there is some casting that could have been better. There is also a lot of dialogue and performance that could have been better.